Hi, this is Mark Matulat for Peter Silbermann Schule and I'm back with another video about an easy care plant which is absolutely, absolutely easy care. Um, it's probably the most easy care plant um, and I find it quite beautiful but there's one thing, um, as time goes by and as the plant is aging, so growing older, it becomes a little leggy. And when it becomes leggy, hmm, it stops looking great. This is in very good shape. As you can see, this is the variegated variety and... Oh, um, did I introduce the plant to you? Did I tell you what uh, the name of it was? No, I don't think I have told you that. This one is called the spider plant. Um, the reason why I haven't told you the name and given you the name is because I'm absolutely thrilled by something that I've seen this morning, discovered this morning, and it is this look at here this is a flower spike or it was a flower spike the flowers are spent here you see they used to be flowers white tiny little flowers and now here along the flower spike baby plants are growing. So you can use, and there's a huge one here, um, this one, right? So this one is a new plant growing out of the center of the mother plant here. Watch me. So what I'm going to do is, and I can take you along when I do it, I may take a, uh, this uh, as a cutting, um, put it into a jar of water, let it sit there for hmm, a week, two weeks, three weeks, I don't know, depending on how fast uh, the roots are growing. And then I will uh, put it up in and start a new plant. This one uh, is the result of one of these young ones. Um, they first went into a jar of water. I let it sit there for two or three weeks, and then I potted uh, these up in an organic mix. This here is another organic mix. Peat-free soil, just regular peat-free all-purpose potting soil uh, to which I added, to which I added granulated clay and pumice probably there's also some lava rock um, somewhere inside yeah and this is a three liter plastic pot yes this is a three liter pot and um, this gives enough room and space inside for such a beauty and for such an exuberant plant. This is a highlight plant because it is the variegated variety. Variegated means there is this yellowish, light green, yellowish uh, stripe and then there are the green stripes on the fringes so this is variegation 
And you know what uh, struck me this morning? Um, all the plants that I have, not all the plants, but a lot of the, the plants that I've introduced to you um, are variegated varieties. So I seem to have a preference for variegated varieties. Back to the spider plant. The spider plant is a, this one, the variegated uh, variety, is a highlight plant because it needs a lot of light for the variegation. If you uh, place it into a low light um, environment, um, it will probably lose the variegation and it will go all green. So if you want this variegation to come out and be beautiful, then give it as much light as you can, but don't expose it to direct sunlight. Actually, it can take uh, direct sunlight in the summer, but um, there is a risk that uh, the foliage burns and this is something that you don't want. Watering. I water this once a week and I uh, fertilize it mm, once a week, yes, uh, once a week. Okay, once a week every 10 days. Okay, because this is a lot of foliage here, but um, watering it once a week or every 10 days, that's okay. Tap water will do. This one doesn't ask for filtered water, but I give it fil uh, filtered water. Uh, but if you have no none, um, use tap water. But make sure your tap water is not icy cold. Um, give it, let's say, tap water, which is room temperature. Yes, room temperature is the best way uh, of watering this plant. Fertilizing. <clears throat> I fertilize this um, probably every two weeks. At least I do so in the summer. During the winter season when the days are short and when the plants are resting, I water once a month. Yes, maybe even less uh, frequently than that. Maybe uh, once every six weeks, but once a month is a good rule of thumb. <coughs> Excuse me, pests. Uh, I've never seen uh, any pest infestation on this plant. Neither on this, nor on the ancestors, so the mother plant, the grandmother plant, the great-great-grandmother plant. Um, this is a plant that I've had for probably some 20 years. I mean, not this, but the mother and the grandmother and all the ancestors. Uh, so I don't know how many great-great-great-great-great uh grandparents i've had of this plant but i've had this i bought this probably when i moved into this uh, home and ever since i've had it rejuvenated this um every i don't know two or three years um from these from these uh from such an offspring probably two or three or four all together and then uh, when I had three or four of them together um, I potted them up. So this here is one, this is one plant, there is another one here, probably a third one here, mm. hard to see for all of the leaves. There's a third one here. So it was probably, yeah, four plants that I potted up here. Pests. Mm. In the unlikely um, case of pests, well, then um, I will tell you what to do. It is either... Uh, neem oil um, 
solution, neem oil along with some other horticultural oil that you spray uh, on this plant. Of course, not here in the living room. I would take this uh, flow, uh, this plant to the bathroom and I would spray it in the bathtub because it is an oil. And of course, you don't want the oil all over your living room. So if I had to treat this uh, for, uh, for a pest infestation, I would take it to the bathroom. Uh, pets, yes. These plants are absolutely attractive to pets. I have three cats and my adolescent uh, Tom, a young Tom, he loves to chew on them. Look here. Now, that was not me. No, I didn't do this. This was my uh, my Tom. Okay. So. Here again. Uh, here again. You can see. Where. Uh, he uh, chewed on the plant. Now this is drying off. So I can remove this. No. The black one, he is my old gentleman. He doesn't go for the, uh, uh, for the spider plant. It's the other one. It's the tiger. Um, the plant is, um, I don't know, um, it doesn't seem to be toxic uh, because my Tom doesn't show any unhealthy reaction. Uh, all he does is he throws up what he's eaten, so this, these leaves clean the stomach along with, uh, with um, fur, furry re residues that he has swallowed, and he throws that up. But other than that, there are no unhealthy symptoms on the cat when he has chewn, uh, chewed on these leaves. So this is a, pla a plant that goes perfectly with pets. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for watching. Um, have an amazing day and uh, I'll catch you in one of my next videos. Until then, bye bye.